And hello and welcome to EVE Online. I'm Xavier Laxperm and today I'll be showing you the Black Ops battleships and how to use it in combat. I can't show you all of them so I'm going to show you m one of mine which is the uh, Widow's Widow Black Ops battleship. This is a uh, a support ship that for ECM and missile damage all the other uh, battleships have other bonuses. The Redeemer, which is the Amar version, has bonuses to uh, just its turrets, uh, and the others have other bonuses. I can't remember them right now. So, this has bonuses to cruise and torpedo launchers, and ECM jammer strength, and covert jump portal generators, and cloaks. So, here on my fit, I have one of each racial ECM jammer, Metaphor, because Metaphor is better, currently for Odyssey. A T2 medium cap booster. I don't, I can't fit a large, but it can still fit a cap booster 800 charge. A large micro jump drive. A Metaphor target painter. And a Metaphor sensor booster. I should get that and get a T2. And three. Uh, tech 2 ballistic control systems and a damage control um, and some ECM jammer rigs now I don't have tank because widows can't really have a tank if they're if they're gonna get attacked they're gonna die so why not have more DPS there's no way of saving these guys if they're overwhelmed so yes alright so in our drone bay we have five T2 hobgoblins which at a hundred DPS, making this at seven hundred thirty something DPS is just pretty nice. And five Vespa EC Tech six hundreds, which are one point five jam strength each, giving this ship up to fifteen jam strength. Fifteen points of jam strength at least. In our fuel bay we have um uh, nitrogen isotopes. Please make sure you are using the correct racial type of fuel. And in our jump and stump uh, cargo bay, which I named the ship, because you jump and you stump them, you jam them, you like fuck them up. Uh, we have missiles, charges, and some extra fuel. Alright, I'm going to undock and show you how to properly use your widow in space. Alright, so while we're heading to our safe spot, um, for for when you bring your Black Ops buddies into a different area, you want to either in high sec, because you can do this stuff in high sec, except you can't light a sino in high sec, you want to do it in a safe spot. Not a planet, not a customs office, none of that, because people can gank you. In fact, my alliance ganked a widow, because <laughs> they were bugging our null sec systems, and we decided to take them out. <sighs> so yeah, it was kind of fun. and. You should know this, low sec, null sec, nothing safe except a pause. Until it runs out of fuel. <laughs> Alright, so we are at a we are at our area of safety and secureness. Now you want to right click your ship or right click your capacitor. I'm going to right click my ship because I want to. Now, bridge two. You'll you won't see this if you don't have this. You will not see that. So, I'm going to jump to. Uh, wait, no, hold on. Bridge two. Let's go there. And you'll know when it works when this bubble comes up. The static electricity bubble comes up, which is quite cool. And basically, any covert up ship, anything that has a covert, um, covert cloak, can jump into your uh, bridge. Now, if you want to join them, jump to in the area where you were uh, here. And I'm just jumping to Sino generators, which are on pauses. Ugh, I need to upload, reinstall my cache. All right. Move to anywhere in space and activate the micro jump drive. That way, you get a good distance from your enemy uh, and use this for to regain your cap. 
Now, you can either decide to help your buddies, or just sit out the fight. I'm going to sit out the fight, because I'm currently not hot dropping anyone. I'm just doing this for demonstration purposes. Alright, so we're cloaked up, and while we're running for our cap tree charge, I'm going to show you what skills you're going to want. Black Ops, you can have it at level 3 or 4. I'm getting at level 4 because I'm using a T2 cloak. If you're using a faction cloak, you can actually go faster than your ship uncloaked because the um, ship bonuses have a 130% speed bonus to um, cloaks. So you can go faster uncloaked. It's kind of cool. Alright, and something else you need is... Oh. Jump fuel conservation. This is like a isk saver. Because it reduces the amount of fuel you use when you jump or bridge. So it's quite nice. Um, these are obviously should be at level 4 or 5. And you might want to reduce the skill for the micro jump drive operation. So, yes, I'm going to skip ahead to the video. And I'll see you soon. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention. You don't want this happening. If you if you already jump ship, you'll see this little bubble here. That's your jump range. That's so you can go do like this system here. Any system within the jump range. Except for high sec. So yes, do take note of that. Alright, we're back, and um, my cap is well over 71%, which I need to jump. I'm going to turn that off. Um, make sure this is reloaded. I reloaded it um, off screen. And so you go bridge to, you bridge them back. You can bridge them to a sign generator, which I usually do. This comes up. You hope to God nothing comes in and kills you. Da da da. Keep hoping, you keep hoping, you keep hoping, hoping, hoping. And then it goes down and you jump. And I'm going to go there. Micro jump drive. And you can do this over and over and over again until you run out of um, fuel. Or you run out of missiles or something else happens. So, yes, that concludes this tutorial. Um, also, another note, uh, you can jump in stuff. And how I said you can jump in anything with a covert cloak. Yes, that is true. You can, so you can jump in transport ships like the Crane and Viator. Alright, um, I hope you find this tutorial helpful. I'm Xavier Laxram.